chat là, il quitte le chat là, il va démarrer pour ne pas prendre. Yeah, pour qui ça, il va prendre? Il va pour manger. Oh, she says that she is keeping this little cat here and she's tying it up so that nobody steals it. And I said, well, why would someone steal it? And she says, because they'll eat it. <laughs> well, there you go. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. As you guys know, I'm a big Trump supporter. But if he says something that misrepresents folks or he lies, I'll be the first to call him out. Okay? So, a few weeks ago, when he made a statement about Haitian immigrants in Springfield, Ohio, eating the dogs and eating the cats. And it made a stir. Everybody was calling him racist for that. All the Haitian community in Miami rolled him off. And everybody's DMing me or calling me for my opinion. And I said what I said. I shared my story. I've been a Haiti. I've seen it with my eyes. And people will still call me a sellout. So, to be fair, we're going to figure this out, all right? Now, I'm going through the TikTok, I'm going to the X, and this interview comes through my feed, all right? We got two Haitian brothers and one of the cousins. The Haitian brothers are Haitian immigrants that have been living here for a minute. They got their cousin that came here legally. He's a legal Haitian, and he comes here. He's fresh off the boat seven months in and let's take a listen so what we're gonna do today we're gonna have a dialogue me i'm gonna speak ah. with mitchell and my brother also is going to share some thought okay so the first thing i want to say is mitchell is it true that haitians eats cats in haiti i'm gonna ask him in creole now Non, c'est pour ça là. Ce sont vérités normales. Nous mangeons chat. Mes chiens. Bon, par contre, c'est qu'il faut manger chat. Mes chats là, ce sont mangés naturels. Okay, let me translate to you, for you. <laughs> when it comes to eating cats, that's a very normal thing, he said. He says, when it comes to dogs, not really. There's not too many Haitians who have ever done anything like that. He's never seen it. But when it comes to cats, that's a very common practice in Haiti. Mm -hmm. This is his word. Okay. When it comes to cats, it's a normal thing in Haiti. The dogs, not so much. So, Mr. Trump, you lied. They don't eat dogs in Haiti. They don't eat dogs in Springfield, Ohio. You big liar, you. There. You guys are happy? But the cats, they will barbecue the f*** out of some cats. Uh, 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 uh. Tell us some more about this, Mitchell. Qui sont qu'a dit nous en en ajouter sur ça des des situations pour manger chat ça. Non, pas bon que son vérité, il nous manger chat comme si nous pas obligé fâcher comme si l'on monde dit ici manger chat. Nous manger chat comme si son pratique naturelle lié. Et gain côté Haïti au vendre chat même pour manger, gain côté Haïti soit aller au besoin chat là pour manger à vendre normal, il garde des chat, mettre dans le cage. Wow, he said, uh, okay, he said when it comes to eating, uh, when it comes to eating cats in Haiti, that's a very normal practice among Haitians. Mm. For people to say yeah. that's not happening, that's a lie. He says even there are places in Haiti where you can go and you can go to a store and actually buy the buy cats. That. You can, oh. you can, just like you buy chicken wings. It's a very yes. normal practice in, in Haiti. So you can go to a store and pick out the cat that I don't know if there's alive, if it's fried, if it's boiled, but you could go to a store just like getting some chicken wings and get some cats in Haiti. All right. Okay, folks. Where in Haiti do, can you go and buy cats and stuff like that to eat? Oh, well, Ou bien tout n'importe mon soir, ils regardent des vidéos. Ils vont voir le cafou, commune cafou. Commune cafou, commune cafou, commune cafou. Cafou en général, les voir cafou en général. Avant je viens d'Elimat et qui n'a dit qu'il n'y est exactement en face marché qui n'a toi. 
yo vann chak la normal yo vann tout bête la moun manje <laughs> you say you can go to Haiti a uh, demil kafo a uh, vandikini uh gon stone a zone so he's, he's saying you can go to Haiti uh there there are different states and different places in Haiti where you can just go and buy it and if you can go to a cafe a cafe and they're out there in parts of Haiti where they sell cats not the dogs we don't eat the dogs folks dogs are disgusting right let that no Trump vinzi for example I'm going to ask the question when Trump asked the question said that people are eating dogs and eating cats why do you think all Haitians are mad about that pour qui raison penser que haïtien fâché parce que Donald Trump dit comme ça il a mangé chien il a mangé chat non même pas même j'aime zoula nous 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 c'est fâché pour chien pas pour chat là Okay, he said the only reason Haitians are mad is uh, about what Donald Trump yeah, said yeah. is because of the no dogs, no not, no the, no not the not the not the cats. Yeah, no when it comes to the cats, it's a hundred percent true. Yeah. They're mad about the dogs because the eating of the dog is not a common thing yeah. for Haitians to do. That's but the cat, they will eat some cat. Now I gotta say this: not all Haitians eat cat. In China, not all Chinese folks eat dogs. Okay, in Dominican Republic, right next door to, to Haiti, they eat rats. Yes, they do. Not all of them, of course, not all of them, but there are a portion of poor folks in a third world country that will do anything to survive. And you're telling me you pick them from a boat and put them in a small town. They did not assimilate. They didn't know the language. They barely know how to drive. None of that. And they know not to eat a pet. They see a fresh cat coming off the lawn, and you telling me they said, "Nah, nah, don't eat it." We're we in America. They don't do that here. That's what you're telling me, right? You people are silly. Guys, you're hearing the truth from Haitians who are not afraid to tell it to you. Like you heard from my brother, he's saying our people just don't want to hold themselves accountable. Right, and Mitro is also saying uh, one of the reasons why they don't like to do this is because Haitians have a have an issue. We have an issue of telling the truth. Uh, we don't like the truth, and, and 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 unfortunately, a lot of what you are hearing on the news, they they want to make it seem like that's that's not happening. But here goes a Haitian, wow. right? And he's telling you this is a common practice. He from, says over seventy percent of Haitians. He just, came from Haiti he just came from Haiti, and he's telling you there are places where you can go and buy it, like chicken wings. And he says uh, over seventy percent of Haitians eats dogs and cats. Well, he says as far as the dogs, he says that's not really a common practice. But when it comes to cats, that's extremely normal. Damn, seventy percent, seventy percent of Haitians eating cats. And you're telling me out those twenty thousand that don't speak no English, poor country, none of them had eaten a cat. There's a story of um, Bangor, uh, Maine. Bangor, Maine got some new residents came in not too long ago, and already sixteen cats been missing in Maine, folks. There's no bones. There's no Signs of them missing, so you can't say it's a, a mountain lion that came out. You can't say none of that. There's no signs of the cats, okay? Somebody's eating those cats, folks. You got to be stop being so sensitive. It's okay. It's okay, okay? If, you're, if you've been known for doing that in one country, you come here, you can't do that here, is all we're saying. Learn the practice here. Learn the laws here. But all of you Haitians are so sensitive that Mr. Trump says you're eating the cats and eating the dogs and you're sensitive. When you know deep down inside, you know somebody in Haiti that's eating cats, not the dogs. Dogs are disgusting. The fact that a lot of Haitians don't want to admit this, it, maybe it's political, maybe it's because of Donald Trump, maybe it's because of the media. But the fact of the matter is it happens. It happens in Haiti. It's a common practice. And it's still going on in Haiti. So to say that Haitians cannot do this in Springfield, Ohio, I, I think we're just being very dishonest. And I don't think our dishonesty is a good look. And the thing is, people's dogs and cats are not going missing for no reason. So if it's happening, there's a story behind the story. Let's just be honest with it. Anyway. Anyway, that's my thought for the day.
If you see a kitty cat in the street, leave it alone. All right. Just give it a nice pet. Leave it alone. All right. I'll see you next time.